Right now, CPS is hoping you can also step up to the plate for nearly 500 children who are in foster care, several of them for the first time. They need your help this year to make sure no child goes without a gift under the tree. 12 News reporter Kelsey Johnson joins us tonight with how you can help. Dej, tis the season of giving, and what better way to give than to a child in need? Last year, Child Protective Services Santa Store helped about 2,000 children, and this year, that need is even greater. It's the most wonderful time of the year, and the Christmas countdown clock has already started. But for many of us, between the pandemic and two hurricanes, it's been a tough year. And for some children, their life has taken a drastic turn. They've been taken away from the only thing they knew. Even though that it wasn't a good environment, it was the environment that they knew. But Southeast Texas, this is where you can lend a helping hand. The Texas Department of Family and Protective Services is asking for toy and monetary donations for kids in foster care. Right now, the agency's Santa store is looking a bit bare. It's empty right now. But you can help change that. People want to help in this community. They've always been very helpful. They just sometimes don't know how to help. If you want to give but don't know what to get, here's some ideas. Baby dolls, toy trucks, a remote control car, popular electronics, makeup, nail polish and gift cards to the movies or places to eat. Just anything that you would buy for your child to put under the tree, our children that we care for would like the same type of gifts. Here's where you can go to drop off toys. Bring them to any Beaumont Fire Station, the Courtyard in Groves, BMW of Beaumont Dealership, and Headlines Hair Studio in Port Natchez. Also, Saturday, Beaumont Hard Riders is hosting its annual toy drive. It will be at the Cowboy Harley Davidson in Beaumont off I-10. It starts at 9 a.m. and ends at 3 p.m. And right now we're asking for your help to fill this Santa's workshop to make sure that all the children that we become involved with and are involved with wake up on Christmas morning to a great Christmas. A community banding together to help children in need. Jim says that they will take donations until December 21st. That way they will have time to get their toys to the good boys and girls for just in time for Christmas. Kelsey Johnson, 12 News.